What's up, family? Okay, so we got a nonprofit organization that's suing a school district in Los Angeles because basically they're saying that the school district is feeding their kids junk. It went like this, y'all. Hot dogs, bacon, sausages, and bologna, and all other processed meats are in the crosshairs of two new lawsuits that target lunch menus for the Poway and Los Angeles Unified School Districts. The suit filed Wednesday in Superior Court by the Nonprofit Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine in Washington, D.C., are the advocacy group's planned first volley of litigation on the issue. They asked the court to bar the districts from serving meals with cured and otherwise modified sources of animal protein on grounds that such food violate the California Education Code's requirement that all school foods served to students be of the highest quality and the greatest nutritional value possible. In its legal complaint, the committee pointed to recent studies from the World Health Organization and the National Cancer Association concluding that eating processed meat increases the risk of colon and other cancers. A quick look at the menu of Poway's elementary schools, which is posted on the district's website, shows that one processed meat option was served each day of the week in April. It was turkey hot dogs on Monday, French toast and sausage on Tuesday, chicken corn dog on Wednesday, chicken nuggets on Thursday, and stuffed crust pepperoni pizza on Friday. But there were also plenty of non-processed options available, from bean and cheese burritos on Monday to orange chicken with rice on Thursday. Yogurt with wheat or cheesy crackers is available daily. Dr. Neil Bernard, the group's founder and president, who earned his medical degree from George Washington University said that the committee advocates nationwide on a range of issues, from plant-based diets to stopping animal-based research. In the case of school lunches, he said, the goal is to remove all processed meats, even if the districts are doing a decent job of offering a variety of other choices for students. Scientifically, there is no argument Everybody knows we shouldn't be serving this stuff to children, Bernard said. He also said the American Cancer Society recommends limiting consumption of processed and red meats and supports the decisions of those who opt to go vegetarian or vegan as long as they make sure they consume enough plant-based protein. And now for the opposing viewpoint. You knew it was coming. The American Association of Meat Processors pushed back against the lawsuit Wednesday afternoon with a statement attributed to its executive director, Chris Young. Processed meats make up a safe and nutritious part of a balanced diet, and there is no scientific data to support removing them from school menus for being unhealthy, Young said. When it comes to prevention of cancer and other chronic diseases, it is impractical to separate a single food as cause of those issues. Many of the naturally occurring chemicals from healthy fruits and vegetables in our foods could be classified as carcinogens. But that doesn't mean schools should stop serving them since they do not present a health risk at normal levels of consumption. We stand by the nutrition benefits that meat, both fresh and processed, provide for growing children. Did y'all hear that shit? He said, this is, this is the thing that, I, that tripped me out a lot. They say, the foods are not dangerous at normal levels of consumption. Why put anything in our foods that could be potentially dangerous? Why do that at all? Everybody's not going to eat a normal level of of consumption. This is what I'm talking about. This this is this is the world that we live in. Going back, let's see. Let's see. Hot dogs, bacon, sausages and bologna. That I'm gonna tell y'all something. That shit tastes good, but that shit that shit tastes bad. 
That shit is bad for us. You know, I just got over it. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to front. I just got over it myself in the last few years. But, man, that shit is garbage. Many people that, that talk all that stuff, man, they wouldn't even feed their dog that shit. But they want to give it to the kids. They say the World Health Association and National Cancer Association concluded that eating processed meat increases the risk of colon and other cancers. This don't mean nothing to y'all. It increases the risk of colon and other cancers. But this doesn't mean nothing. But you have people out there saying, give the kids what they want. That's what they want to eat. Let them eat it. That is ridiculous. I mean, if your kid wanted to eat ice cream and cake for dinner, would you let your kid eat? What, what damn responsible parent would let their kid eat ice cream and cake for dinner? Probably the same damn kind of parent that don't see a problem with all of this junk food that they serve in these kids. This is what you have to consider. And I know some people saying, man, if they want to poison themselves, they want to eat that damn poison, let them. You know, whatever somebody want to put in their body, let them, let them do it, let them do it, let them do it. The problem is this. We can pay now or we can pay later. So what we're doing basically when we are feeding our kids all of this unhealthy food, we are letting them know we're conditioning them to eat, their, eat certain kind of foods for life. And then what happens? We kick the can down the road. Oh, they don't get sick immediately. But we kick the can down the road for, far enough. And then our tax dollars end up paying for their health care. Because that shit will kill you. And it is dangerous. And you eat it long enough, you will die. I mean, it, it's not uh, by happenstance that people are dying at 30 something years old, 40 something years old, 50 something, a lot of that, a whole lot of that is lifestyle. A lot of that is what they're putting in their bodies. So even if you're the most selfish person in the world and you don't give a damn about anybody else, you do care about spending extra money. And I'm telling you that when people eat unhealthy, they go to the doctor more. And the more they go to the doctor, especially if they can't afford to go to the doctor, guess who foots the bill? So you really have no choice if you really about your money. You really have no choice but to support something like this. And say, give the kids, people out there are talking about give the kids what they want to eat. That is the most stupidest shit I ever heard in my life. This is about health, not control. So kudos to the uh, physicians committee. Kudos to them. Uh, it's so important to make sure these kids have a balanced diet, uh, feed these kids a nutritious meal, uh, give them healthy food. Uh, not, let me tell you something. See, not only does processed meats cause cancer. Processed meats are also loaded with saturated fat and sodium. So if you look at it like that, you know, you got to know that, that that shit is not good for consumption. It's just not. So even if you don't want to, even if we don't want to, we got to kind of look out for each other. Dude was talking about the, the guy from uh, the American Association of Meat Processors, the director, was saying that it's impractical to segregate a single food. They're not segregating a single food. They're saying that all of that shit is garbage. All of that, the hot dogs, the nachos, all that shit, garbage, man. It's garbage. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we're feeding us our children and shit. I ain't gonna lie. Every now and then, it's all right. He little trash. I mean, I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. I do it, but you can't make that a way of life. You know, and I know somebody, some people cringe when I say it every now and then. It's all right to eat a little trash. I mean, basically, like, uh, we all do it. Every now and then, we eat that little cake. You get, you eat that little piece of cake or eat those chips. You know, drink a soda every now and then. It ain't going to kill you if you drink it every now and then. Trust me. It ain't going to kill you. But if you make it a way of life, and that's what you do every day, you drinking a, and I love Coca-Cola, but I know what it do. I know that if you can pour a can of Coca-Cola on your battery and it takes off all of the residue and gunk around your battery cables imagine what it'll do to you if you drinking it <laughs> you know what i'm saying what it does to your organs if you drinking it every day if you're consuming it every day like i used to like i used to drink coke like shit twice a day but i shut it down and now i'm more like maybe once every other week but you know, so for me, a lot of things come down to moderation. But yeah, man, you know, let's 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 feed these kids right, man. Let's give these kids a nutritious meal. And even if you out of school, you know, even if you don't have children, you know, even if you're a vegan, you know, it's all right to look out for other people, man. You know, it's all right to. To care about other people, man. It's, it's all right. It's all right, America. It's all right. Look here, man. If y'all like the videos that I'm presenting to y'all, make sure you go and join the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live and join the movement. Join my movement. Join my movement. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Thanks.